Hello out there, it's Tammy C. Walker, life coach, therapist, and social worker. Hit subscribe, hit like, and hit the notification bell. That way when I upload new videos, you will be notified. So today I want to talk about, are you alone and strong? I'm doing this video for many of us out there that are alone and not alone in a bad way. I mean alone in a good way. But society in the United States throughout the world, it's known that or it's uh, made to be known that you should be in a relationship, you should be married, you should have kids. But guess what? There are some of us, we're not going to get that. Um, it doesn't happen like that for us as quickly or here I go again with a nap. And he was in this other video I was just trying to do. He or she, I just made, made, made him a he. But I had to start over anyway because I messed up. But I refused to let the gnats win because I pay the rent here. So anyway, <laughs> if you are single or alone, I don't want you to feel bad about this. One thing about being alone, it proves that you are strong. Every bill that has to be paid comes out of your account. Every um, utility bill, medical bill, like just like me, my rent, my education, I paid that. No one was standing next to me helping me pay for it. It shows you your strength, your endurance, your tenacity, and how resourceful you are. Because when the rubber meets the road, you know if it's got to be, it's up to me. And because you are single or alone, you know that you're all you got. So I don't want you to feel bad about not having a partner or not being married or not having kids yet. Because if you are 30, 40, you, you, you're not even halfway throughout your life. People are living to be 90 something. I get these calls all day. I'm in HR and people are retired and they, they call for their parents and their parents are 93 and 97. So I want you to know that you have a lot of years left and I don't want you to feel bad because you're not married yet. You don't have the kids yet. You don't have the partner yet. But if you are alone, are you strong? And I bet you are because being alone, it's liberating. It's empowering. It means I can travel. It means I can do what I did today, go and buy me a pair of shoes. I can go get my favorite meal. And when I make my money, it comes to me. And of course, my bill um, collectors too, but you know what I'm saying. And um, something else I want to say about being alone, it's um, liberating, but it's also healthy. If you are healthy alone, then when your partner comes, you can be one with that person. No one can bring you complete happiness or make you happy only. You should already have the happiness and they can add to it. Of course, when you have a breakup or when you have an argument, who doesn't feel bad? We're all human first. I can get on these videos and talk crap. I can get on these videos and brag and boast, but I would not lie to you ever, never. I am in the same boat that many of you all are. I have heartbreak. I have loss. I have anxiety. I have doubts, just like a lot of other people. I'm just doing these videos to try to help you, but I'm not doing these videos to tell you Tammy is perfect or I haven't had any stumbling blocks along my way. I used to watch Sweetie Pies, the show on the OWN channel. And what did Miss Robbie say? You fix one problem, here comes three more. And it is true, it's life. Just recently, I had a drum problem with my car, $300 that I didn't even plan on spending and I had just got back from Nashville. So that's just how things go. Um, can't predict this stuff. It was just maintenance on the car, but it still doesn't call. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't make you feel any better when you have to spend these this unexpected money. It's stuff like that, or it's other things that can go wrong. Something can go wrong in your apartment or your home, and there's another unexpected repair, or, you know, I'm a renter, so my landlord fixes it, but God forbid if something floods and it damages something that you have, it's just one thing after the other, but we get through it, don't we? And when we're alone, we really know how to get through it because we all we got. But I want you to give yourself a pat on the back. I want you to pop your collar. I want you to feel good about yourself and know that you are 
empowered. I mean, you are special and you are beautiful. And although you may be single now, um, you know, somebody great is out there waiting on you. And when you get that beautiful woman and when you get that handsome guy, you're going to remember the days of old when you had all this time to yourself. So right now, enjoy this time. Do your guitar lessons. Get out there and do your swimming lessons. I want you to travel if you like to travel. Try new cuisines and just enjoy life. And like a dear friend told me, Tammy, I loved being single. And she's been married now 17, 18 years. She said, and Tammy, I love being married. She's married for her three kids. So it's beauty on both sides of the coin. I don't want you to be feeling bad about yourself. Don't let society rope you into the concept that you have to be married. You have to have kids. That's not going to come into play for all of us in the same way. But just because it hasn't happened yet and you're 35, 45, 55, 65, does not mean it won't happen. So Tammy C. Walker, life coach, therapist, and social worker, and Annette's friend is here somewhere. <laughs> hit subscribe, hit like, and remember... Are you alone and strong? I know you are. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.